Everybody keep overlooking me to keep sleeping. So I simply tell them, let them slumber. Let them slumber. Anybody, anywhere, anytime. Get your mind right, because I don't want no excuses after the fight. I want the best damn Aldo. Just make sure you make that walk June 3rd, UFC 212 in your hometown. In your hometown, it's so hard fighting this guy. We had to fight him in his hometown. <laughs> I see you June 3rd in Brazil. I see you, Aldo. Max Holloway will finally get his shot at the UFC featherweight title when he competes against Jose Aldo. He's facing one of the most spectacular 145 pounders that's ever walked the face of the planet. Oh, look at that knee from Aldo. That's accuracy right there. You're looking at a guy that can win the fight at any moment from any place. Big shots by Aldo. Oh, huge knee. Você pessoas pode esperar um José Aldo muito mais agressivo do que um. He's coming at you from different angles, and everything he throws you wants to knock you out. Uma coisa é certa. Eu vou finalizar ou vou nocautear ele. Wow. But it looks like they're gonna swing oh, to the man. very end. And he wasn't kidding. Wow. This guy said after he's done fighting, he wants to go play soccer. That's why I gave him a soccer ball. There's the power. He got tagged. Oh Aldo. my God. I'm gonna go out there put it all on my shield, go out with my sword, and just show it to the world why I'm the best guy in the business right now. This is not cockiness, this is confidence. Oh my goodness. You think you're the best? Prove it to me. Não tem como você manter 20 segundos fazendo força, 20 segundos explosando na manopla e 20 segundos fazendo força no chão. Quem é o super-homem que faz isso? I just can't wait to go out there and fight, you know? I, this is pretty much where fighting was born and now uh, Kings come to other Kings villages. Uh, to take everything they got, and uh, now we're here. Hey, muito mais rápido, muito. Muito melhor. Active rest day, you know, Sunday fun days, back at home I do uh, Sunday fun runs and this is a great time, you know, it's think about the fight, get clear your mind. You know, this is once in a lifetime, who knows, you know, when I'll come back and be able to do stuff like this. It's a real hike, Max. Active recovery, dog. If you want to be a champion, you got to do what champions do. I ain't never want to be average. Here you go, almonds. A monkey mouse. That's a better one. Uh, here we go! Oh! Is the new UFC featherweight champion of the world! Jose Aldo is all about business right now. Interim title on the line in the featherweight division. When I saw that he was playing for the title, of course, it was a frustration very big. I was a champion of the title for a long time. É, assim como eu perdi. We have ourselves a Brazilian champion again. Jose Aldo Jr. Max Holloway, ele vem numa crescente, vamos falar assim, mas ele nunca lutou com tanta pessoas cadenciada, né? Eu tenho certeza que a vitória é nossa. A 360 degrees view. Very humbling and uh... You know, last time when we went to Sweden, we got to go to those old churches, you know, here in Brazil. We got this and uh, just a blessing, man. You know, tomorrow's uh, official check-in. Real work starts tomorrow, so today was the last day to kind of get around the city and uh, I'm just excited. How is it for you to be here in Rio? O em casa sempre tem um fator diferenciado, uma torcida, energia, positivo rodando tudo em volta da gente. Então, pô, a simplicidade muito grande de estar em casa, né? Acho que família, amigos, onde você vive. Você... Yeah, we got one or two more things fun to do on the agenda, and then the funnest part of all is cutting weight. You know, I'm looking forward to that, man. I just want to make the weight. You 
You know, I felt on top of the world. Finish the man that never bought finish before is a, is a great feeling. You know, got a shiny like little belt. Just incredible. Oh! That's it! And it's, it's all over! It's over. I've been getting ready for this fight a long, long time. You know, I was 17 years old when I first heard of Jose Aldo, and I'm 25 now, and he's still here at the top of the division. We're here at Top Kart Indoor Go Kart Racing. You know, I always love it, and uh, why not come out here? A bunch of the guys on the team think they're bad. A felicidade é sempre grande, né, cara? Você tá lutando, você tá é, fazendo aquilo que você gosta, né? Acho que a energia é muito boa, acho que todo mundo é, fica ali na energia positiva. Então eu fico muito feliz e bem tranquilo quanto isso, né? Acho que não pode vir quem vir aqui toda vez que eu não lutar no Rio, a vitória é sempre é nossa. You gotta come ready, guys. You ever wondered, oh man, I need a fork. Oh man, I need a spoon. Damn it, I need a knife. Guess what? I got all three in one of them. Spork knife. It's way more easy uh, on me, you know. It's uh, I know what I'm getting. I know what I'm putting in my, my body. And um, after training, I gotta wait for room service or something. Bada boom, bada bang. They said the crowd out there is pretty big, pretty crazy, and uh, everybody's asking me, "You think you're ready? We're about to find out." querido pelo povo, né? Quanto que ele é o campeão do povo. A expectativa da melhor, né? Graças a Deus, a gente sempre bem, bem recebido, carinho dos fãs. Então a gente já contava com isso aí, a gente sabe que a arena vai estar lotada. Essa luta com o Max pode ser sim uma guerra. Acho que a última luta que eu fiz aqui no Rio de Janeiro foi eleita a melhor do ano. Então essa pode ser. Pelo menos tá. Como é que tá? Tudo bem, bom dia. Porra, positivo, Pô, sempre né? lutar em casa é foda. Já vira de ligeiro. Muito rápido. Tô tornado. Eu vi a velocidade. This title shot is huge, you know. It's it's big, you know. This this you get to fight to be the greatest in your division, the greatest in the world. Just can't wait to get out there in the octagon and show the UFC, the world, who I am, you know. Go out there, do the damn thing, and get it done. <laughs> Moments like these, you, you're not ever ready for it until you step in there. I'm fighting him, you know, I'm fighting him. You gotta have that respect for him, but we're gonna fight. Mas eu acho que agora essa luta vai, vai ser bem agressiva. É um cara que procura a luta, né? Então se ele não mudar o estilo dele, pode ter certeza que eu vou pegar. We're in a beautiful country, you know, another country. Seeing the people, seeing the way people live here, so. That's all you get for free, baby. You gotta pay to watch me now. June 3rd, live on pay-per-view. You see, 212, baby, let's go. Ao longo da experiência da tua vida inteira de tantas vezes fazer isso, você vai falando as coisas e as coisas vão acontecendo. Então é com isso que você vai ganhando a confiança do, do atleta. Vai, vai. Dá até querendo porra. 145. Hold it for me, man. Right here, baby. Two more seconds. You guys go see tomorrow night, baby. Where he at? 145. Hold it for me, baby. Oh. What's up? What's up? Where's my cupcakes, my man? Yeah, baby. I sacrificed a lot in this camp, man. Had to, my fat ass had to do a bunch of running that I didn't want to do, but uh, <laughs> we're here now and we're eating cupcakes. Fight today if I had to, holy shit. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 212, Aldo versus Holloway. Todo atleta sonha em estar no maior evento e ser campeão, né? E eu pude fazer isso e desde aí eu não parei até hoje. Acho que a mensagem que eu deixo, pode ter certeza que o Aldo vai vir muito agressivo. Onde a luta estiver caindo, eu vou estar vencendo, eu vou estar batendo. 
Pode ter certeza. People set the bar. Bars are meant to be broken. You know, I'm here to break. The big question, though, is does he have what it takes to beat the long-standing champion? I've been getting ready for Aldo since I was 17 years old, and I'm here. He's still one of the best. He's still at the top of the division. But it's time for a new era. Just make sure you make that walk. In your hometown, it's so hard finding this guy. We had to fight him in his hometown. They're always getting hurt and pulling out. Hashtag where's Jose Waldo? Let me know when you guys find him. I see you, Waldo. The official weight is 145, 65.7 kilos. The official weight is 145. 65.7 quilos, 65 quilos e 700 gramas para José Aldo Júnior. How do you win against Jose tomorrow night and how do you face this crowd? Tune in tomorrow night, you guys go find out. I told you guys the story was born in December, we're going to twinkle bright tomorrow, baby. Pode ter certeza, essa vitória é nossa, meu irmão, e vai ser devastadora, pode ter certeza. First of all, thanks you everyone, but you can be sure of one thing, victory is ours, you can be sure of that. E relaxar, né? Acho que tudo aquilo que a gente tinha que fazer, a gente já fez. Foi um treinamento, o treinamento foi bem tranquilo, a gente pôde treinar, fazer tudo certinho. Então é só esperar a hora mesmo vir trabalhar amanhã. I'm looking forward to fight this guy. You know, this guy, like how you guys said, he's the greatest, he's one of the greatest to do it all the time, ever, you know? And uh, that's something nice to have underneath your belt, so I, I can't wait. This fight is just like any other fight, you know? The goal for myself personally is to go out there and dominate and show the world why I'm the best to ever do this. O Max não sabe que, que ele se meteu de lutar comigo. Ele vai ver a agressividade que eu vou pra cima dele. Onde a luta tiver, ele vai estar em maus lençóis. It is one of the biggest nights of the year in sports here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Jose Aldo Jr. His status as the greatest featherweight of all time is undisputed. And tonight, his mission once again is to exit as UFC featherweight champion. This kid is an athletic specimen. He is so fast, so powerful. You think the answer is to take him down, nobody can get him down. You can't forget about Max Holloway, who also is the interim champion. He believes he's the main champion. He believes he's a new era. He calls it the blessed era. He says he's better than Jose Aldo. He uses more weapons. The former UFC light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Shogun Hua Octagon side for the festivities here tonight in Rio. Woo! And hard to see a lot of glaring weaknesses when you break down the film on Max Holloway, right? It is about as good a fight as we could possibly put together. The wait for it ends here. Holloway four inches taller to the surprise of some. It is a one inch reach advantage for the incumbent Jose Aldo Jr. It's time! The pride of Hawaii, Max Blessed back I want you to protect yourself at all times I want you to obey my commands at all times I want you to fight hard but fight clean if you want to touch gloves touch them now good luck you're seeing the style differences too Aldo much more set oh Holloway got two punches some early adversity here for the challenger volume was a really big factor in this fight but that early explosion of Jose Aldo seems that Holloway oh, hesitant and that teep kick he uses is so effective to hide his lead step Another good combination for Jose Aldo. Now Holloway returns fire. He believes that Aldo, as we've seen before, will slow down as the fight goes. So. Aldo's defense just stays so tight. His hands are always up where they're supposed to be. I mean, he moves well, he doesn't bend. Oh, well. best combination of the fight there for Holloway. Oh, oh big right, right hand from Holloway. Got him with the right. Max is landing more effectively now. He's getting the timing of Aldo. Oh. And he did. Oh, big right hand landed. Beautiful counter there for Jose Aldo. Oh, that jab at Jose Aldo is absolutely gorgeous. You see a pretty significant hematoma on the left side of the head of Jose Aldo. 
That jab of Aldo is being the most effective. Big right hand over the top of the jab of Aldo. Holloway's starting to dictate the pace here, getting a higher work rate up. And he did it again there. He made Aldo miss again. And Holloway is absolutely fine with this type of firefight. Big knee for Jose. Big left hand. We will recap all of tonight's action from Rio on the UFC 212 post fight show. Oh! Max Holloway knocks down Jose Aldo. Aldo's hurt badly. Holloway with a big right hand. Oh, got him. It's all looks. Oh, he's got Aldo hurt so bad. It's looking over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, huge right hand. Look at the beautiful floating of Max Holloway on top. Oh, Aldo trying to stay in this fight, but the oh, Hawaiian Aldo's Holloway still in it. pouring it on. Uh, That'll do it. Max Holloway. Max Holloway has come to Rio de Janeiro and finished the greatest featherweight of all time. Incredible to come down here to Rio. He has felt really for two and a half, three years that he has been the number one featherweight in the world, celebrating with his team, his friends, his family. Max came out in round three and seemed to have found his timing and his rhythm, and he was outstanding there in round three. You wait for Aldo to counter, and then you fire again. One, two. He waited for the counter hook, came back with another one, two. This was the end of the fight right here. Aldo just couldn't get the hooks out from Max. He couldn't get Max off the top of him. And now, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. First and foremost, I gotta thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Second of all, I got, I got a lovely son at home. Baby, Rush, you got another gold one, baby. You're Dana White. Where's my 50K? I want my check. And I see you guys in Hawaii, UFC Hawaii. Make it happen, baby. Thank you guys. Have a good night. It's blessed, you know, like I said before, Aldo's a GOAT, man. He was a GOAT and he had a reign. And I wanted everything, and I wanted everything that he had, you know, and I went, came here and did it. Nobody wanted to fight him in real. Everybody's like, this crowd and blah, blah, blah. I felt the crowd out there. I love the energy, you know? You gotta live in the moment. What was the mentality going to the third? Ah, uh, you know, it was, I was whatever. He landed some shots, you know? This is fighting. This is fighting. You're not gonna go to a singing singing school. Thinks so, thinks so that you're gonna go and wrestle. You know, it's, I know I was getting myself into. You know, you come to Hawaii, the same thing's gonna happen. They're gonna be booing the out of you, but after it's, it's a fight. They're gonna respect you, and I had to earn their respect. I don't ever want to be given respect. I want to earn your respect, and I think I earned it here in Brazil.